Hi everybody. Okay, today we are going to be making mee siam. Okay, these are the ingredients that you will need for me, for mee siam. Okay. First of all, you will need rice vermicelli or bihun. Okay, now you have to soak it in cold water or normal water lah, huh? and uh, for uh, you soak it for about half an hour. This is the packet. Okay, bihun rice vermicelli, and the weight is about, as you can see here, three hundred and fifty grams. Okay, next you will need is bean sprouts, which of course just wash it properly and drain all the water out. You will need some eggs, which you will boil them. Then you will need two kinds of tau. One is the normal white tau, firm tau which you cut it up into small pieces then you will need to fry it until it's nice and golden brown and the other one is the dried tau or you call it tau po okay just cut it into about the same size as the other tau then you will need this which is chives okay this will be fried also together with the vermicelli then you will need your chili paste so this is the same chili paste uh, of uh, dried chilies onions, garlic, and blachan. Now we are using about 8 tablespoons. Okay, now this is for the frying part. For the sauce part, you will need tamarind, asam, about uh, baseball size or slightly smaller. Okay, now this depends on how uh, tangy you want your sauce to be. So as you go along, you can add more or lesser as you wish and taste it. Then you will need the same dried chili again, the chili paste. This one is about four tablespoons. And then you will need tau chiu, which is bean paste. Okay, I'm sure you can get this. Now you will use this also for the sauce and when you fry also. So, when we start cooking, I will show you exactly how it's done. So, first of all, heat up some oil in a nice big wali or wok and put in all the tau. Okay, so just fry this until it's nice and golden brown and firm. Okay, then we take it out and put it aside. Okay, once it's brown, golden brown like this and it's firm, then you can remove it and set it aside okay while now using the same oil you add in your eight tablespoon of chili paste so you fry this until it's well cooked and garin then you also add in the tau chiu or the soybean paste okay about four tablespoons you fry these both together until it's well cooked. Okay, this is halfway cooking already of the chili with the tau chiu. Okay, now you add in salt, but be careful with the amount of salt because the soybean paste, the tau chiu, is also salty. So fry this until the oil separates and then you can add in the soaked bihun. Okay, now that the oil has separated already from your chili paste and soybean paste tau chu, you can add in your bihun, your rice vermicelli. Now add this in and mix it well until the paste is well mixed with the rice vermicelli. Okay, after you have mixed in the rice vermicelli or bihun well, you can add in your fried tau, okay, the tau pong also. Okay. And as for the chives, we'll be using about two handfuls of it. Now you can add more if you want, that all depends on you. Okay. Then just mix all this together and keep on frying till it's drier a bit. Okay, after mixing it well and the uh, bihun is drying up, you can add in your bean sprouts. 
Okay, we're going to add in about two, uh, two big handfuls or maybe a bit more. Lah. This one depends on you and uh, it also depends whether you want the bean sprouts or tauge to be crunchy or not. If you want it to be crunchy, then a quick stir, then you can off everything. Okay, these have been mixed well and we like the bean sprouts to be a little bit crunchy, so that is it. The most important thing about mi siam kua is the chives. You must have chives. No chives, it is not mi siam. Okay, so now you can off the fire, set it aside, and we can start preparing the gravy, the sauce. Okay, now to prepare the sauce, that's the chili paste. Now add some of your tamarind water in first, the asam water in first. Mix it well before you put it on the fire. Now add in also some soya bean paste. You add in one, two, two tablespoons of the tau chu soya bean paste. Mix this all well before you put it on the fire. So you can add in more asam water. Just keep mixing the uh, asam with more water and keep adding. Okay, and keep dissolving the chili. Let it come to a boil. Okay, it's coming to a boil now. So at this stage, you can add in your salt and sugar. Now be careful with the salt because uh, of the the tauchu inside is already salty and add in your sugar too now the flavor of the sauce is uh, sourish and a little bit sweet okay so taste it and make sure it comes to that flavor now you have to keep mixing this because you want all the chili to dissolve nicely okay make sure you add in enough salt and sugar and let it boil for a few minutes before you can turn off the fire so this is the sauce for the mi siam kua so the next thing you will have to do is boil the eggs and then cut the eggs into half then i will show you the final presentation of the dish okay this is the fried mi siam now if you want if you don't want to put any chili uh, so much chili then you can lessen the chili and it won't be so dark red. Okay, 